Hello guys, welcome to another video and today I'm gonna teach you how I made this scene inside After Effects. It is really easy, I'm gonna teach you step by step the basics and the tricks that I use to make a scene like this. It is really easy, I promise. And if you want to learn more about After Effects, link in the description. It's just $59. It's really cheap and have a lot of lessons about this style that I made. So just let's go. First guys, I'm gonna make a new composition, so Ctrl N, I'm gonna use those settings right here and just gonna change the duration to 10 seconds right here. And, and all the files will be on my Instagram, just DM me and I'm gonna send you the project file, the files and everything itself. So I'm just gonna import right here, double click, Ctrl A, Ctrl C, come back and Ctrl V, delete this composition right here, Ctrl A, Ctrl Home, Ctrl Home, perfect. I'm gonna like right here and that's pretty good. I'm gonna enable the 3D. I'm gonna make a new camera. So control out shift C. Okay. And that's perfect. I'll get my texture as well. It's gonna be uh, on this one right here. And I'm gonna enable the 3D as well. Oh, plus jersey. Uh, get right here with two views. Now we have our scene. You can press R right here and add like. Minus 90, I guess that's good. You can play like right here. Uh, I'm like right here. Yes, let's have this option right here. So that comes better. I'm gonna like right here. Rotate this. I'm gonna uh, add the motion tile, increase the mirror edge, and that's perfect. Now I put this uh, like right here. I'm gonna press a little bit more of the door so it can fill the wall and yeah that's that's good we can change later but I know that's good you can add the motion tile right here motion tile 2 to 2 2 to 2 mirror edge now I'm gonna add our character I'm gonna play right here enable the 3d and I'm gonna play I guess right here that's good I'm gonna enter the composition right here and I'm gonna make some animation. So first it's it's gonna be on the head. I'm gonna apply press Y but like right here, there are components on the head. So press R, hold it out, click right here, like wiggle zero dot five comma I guess fifteen, that's great. I'm gonna make like this. I'm gonna add the bones and if one of those plugins just add me on the Instagram and I'm send to you. So yeah. I'm gonna put uh, the first point on the shoulders, the second one on the elbow, and the third one on the hand. So it's gonna be something like this. And I'm gonna go right here, uh, quick bone set, and select the set of controllers. And just do the same for this one right here. So add the bones, like this first point right here, the second point right here, and the third one right here. Quick bone set, set of controllers. And we have four nodes. Uh, two nodes is for the shoulders, and two nodes is for the hands. We're gonna use the hands, so press P, and we can make our animation as you can see. Uh, I'm gonna enable the 3D right here. Uh, press P, click right here. I'm gonna click on the keyframe right here, and on this one also, in like, I guess, two seconds, then you can just make your animation. So I'm gonna make something like this. Uh, an F9, I'm gonna make this wherever right here. Uh, it's gonna make the, the door is pretty easy, so press Y and you gonna put like their component right here on the left of the door. So when I press R and rotate right here, the Y is just gonna, just gonna make this animation right here. I'm gonna just like cross a little bit more of the door, and that's perfect. No, press R. And then the 3D, click right on the keyframe, like right here, and just make your animation. Press P, click right here, press U. Move a little bit. F9, I'm gonna make this grab right here. I'm gonna get this part right here and go like right here. Double click. Ctrl A, Ctrl C, Ctrl V right here. 
click on this one let it shift click on this one control home control home and you can just recompose those layers control shift c with what's with no composition and do the same for the others perfect i'm gonna enter the composition and make animation so click right here so like the puppet tool and just make some uh points go to window auto sway and again if on those plugins just let me on the instagram i'm gonna send you just like this point so click on this one or the shift click on this one this one just click apply and you can change a little bit of the setting so increase the auto sway um so it's gonna make a movement like this you can just copy so click right here ctrl a ctrl c and just do the same for the others right here right here right here right here y and just paste Now come back uh here animation so press p holding shift press a click right here press r click on the rotation press u press u again it's like turns right here and i'm gonna just make an animation so you do not see you have those tools but you can use these options right here as well your choice f9 go to graph make this graph right here I'm gonna move more of these keyframes and we can make an animation so control alt shift y control shift d look right here link the camera to the node press p but then shift press r and mark the position and rotation press u press u again and you can make and an animation so for this one it's gonna be something like this F9, go the graph, make this graph right here. As you can see, we have our first animation pretty good but yeah it's not very pretty right so we need to make some changes so first control y i'm gonna uh it's strong right here can increase a little bit of the black to make this effect right here i'm gonna add a noise look right here in the black 15 we can increase a little bit more later i'm gonna add uh energy smart control y i'm gonna add the signal make this effect right here control to y i'm gonna add a flicker so the lights will flash you can across the amplitude right here and that's great i'm gonna add new light so control to y control alt shift l that's great i'm gonna change to ambient and right here it's gonna be red i'm gonna apply like it and okay and i'm gonna add a new line to control us as well and i'm gonna add spot line that's gonna be wide increase a little bit more of the kind of angle and increase the intensity change one for the two views now you can just rotate the light right here and just move it that's this is gonna make this effect right here you can make a light animation so press P, holding shift, press R, mark those keyframes right here. And you point off the interest as well. So just change a little bit right here. And, and as you can see, we have our animation. We can just change those keyframes right here. Oh, that's perfect. But to be honest, it's pretty solid. 
if you can see you can make a shadow I'm just gonna play with those it's just more because it is really heavy and yeah, I'm gonna go right here Control D R Black right here and I'm just gonna black right here And go right here and that drop shadow. Look right here, shadow only. I'm gonna add the curves right here. Is daylight and press right here. We can add flash file and just copy Ctrl A, Ctrl C, just paste them. I'm gonna add your player as well, Ctrl Y, and gonna add the looks. Go right here, add it. Can go right here on the camera. And if the depth of field, the line two of those. And just uh, put your focus distance on the character. So just put like right here. Just can see it's almost perfect aligned, so just increase that. And I can increase the aperture. And now we have our background with blur. And if you can see, you can animate this. Control to Y, I'm gonna add BCC fast lens blur. My 15, click right here, press 2, go some friends first, but like 0. Ctrl Shift D, press tell, and you can just paste on the another animation. So, for example, right here, I'm gonna add this animation right here. I'm gonna apply this track, increase a little bit, but the fill red is pretty good, and I can change the movie if you want to. So, it's gonna make this effect right here and increase it. Click on the to this mode, Ctrl A, click on the motion blur, Ctrl Shift C, move out to the snow composition, and I'm gonna add the plus rise time. I guess 12, and let's take a look. And as you can see, we have our animation. It's pretty good, I really like it. So thanks so much guys, and have a good one.